What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Napoli Central. My name is Giovanni, the host of this channel. As usual, every week, a new match review. And hopefully, at least for next season or this summer, some transfer news as well whenever I get the chance. Um, welcome back to the channel. If you are a Napoli fan, as I am clearly, I don't have my jersey on today. I have my hat on instead. It's a little hot. Don't want to sweat in the jersey. Um, so if you're a Napoli fan, please subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 300. We're halfway there. Um, so hopefully you guys will can support me. And even if you are a Juve fan, if you are a Roma fan, a Lazio fan, an Inter fan, La Liga fan, a Premier League fan, whatever, I'd hope you subscribe to the channel if you just want to stay up to date with Napoli. Like I said uh, in past videos this summer, I'll have transfer stuff. I will make this channel more active as well. But please do subscribe. Uh, it would really, really mean a lot to me. So uh, a day after the huge, huge, huge game against um, Juventus, at the Allianz Stadium, uh, a huge win for Napoli. I can't even, I mean, I wish, I really do wish I could have made a video yesterday. I probably would have been crying in the video because I cried all of last night. Um, you know, I'm from New York in America, but it's just, I feel like I was in Napoli uh, in, in, in inside my body. I was crying. I was watching videos on YouTube of other fans crying, and I cried with them. And, you know, I was at work watching the game, so I only caught glimpses of it until afterwards. But for some reason, it was just as if it was meant to be. I was watching it when Cooley Belief scored that goal in the 90th minute. For those of you who haven't watched the match yet, you know, Napoli really, really outplayed Juve. I think Juve was looking for the tie or just didn't play as well <clears throat> than usual Juve. And, uh, you know, a lot of Juve fans are really criticizing Juve. And um, But Napoli really did deserve the win, and I also see a lot of Juve fans saying Napoli deserved the win, so I really appreciate that as well, because I like to think of myself as a person who'd say, if they deserve the win, you say they deserve it. So, you know, if Juve went out there and beat us, I'd say they deserve it. I'd be pissed, but I'd say they deserved it, and I'm glad that there's, our, there's Juve fans out there who are saying Napoli merited this win, and, and I think they did. They did merit this win. We had possession, and I know possession doesn't mean crap all the time, but they had most possession this game. They kept pushing up the fr up the field. They did a good job of pressing Juve high up the field and really trapping them at times. And, you know, great play from players like our wing back Rui and Husai had great games. Albion and Koulibaly, unsp you don't even have to say anything. It can remain unspoken about how, how great they were. Uh, or, honestly, you can't even speak too much to how great they were because it won't do it justice. They were very good and Koulibaly ends up getting the game winner. Uh, you know, Cajon's ball, he wasn't having the greatest of games, honestly. I, he was giving some touches were really bad giving the ball away, but that one corner kick, that one set play, he was able to whip it in. It was a great ball into the, into the literally the middle, the middle of, of the box. And Koulibaly soaring like a freaking, I don't know how what you want to compare it. My friend Daniel said like a soaring eagle, you can say a private jet heading a ball on. Because he just soared above everybody and got so much power on that shot. Buffon had no chance of saving that shot in the 90th minute with a couple seconds to go to strike the 90th. And Napoli's up 1-0 and they were able to hold on. I think that this can be a huge momentum shift you know it already has been i guess i think from coming on against you udinese and coming back after trailing twice in that match winning 4-2 they had a fire lit under them and the fans were really behind them and they knew they had they had to win in torino so maybe they played with the nothing to lose feeling i don't know because you know me i'd still be scared out of my mind knowing that we lose we're seven points behind uh behind juve if that's the case but they really went out there sadi he still made all the same subs, you know, but Sadi gets the credit because he stuck to his guns. And I guess he was very, very set and fixed on the players he subs in. You know, he did the usual Mertens for Milik that he's been doing now, lately at least. Um, although, there, you know, he could have kept Mertens and Milik on the field, but Mertens didn't have too great of a game. Uh, but he was, he was solid. He was solid. And, uh, you know, he did the same Zielinski sub in the midfield. He did put in Rog this game, which was uh, a little bit of a surprise. But the zielinski Milik subs were things he's always been doing. And it worked out for him because you, you didn't change the shape of play. Um, Napoli was playing well. There was no reason to, shape, to change the shape, but it was getting late. So you put on Milik at the 60th minute. That means that you have an aerial threat even though a defender ended up scoring the goal. But it was just a great performance all around. And Napoli's only one single point behind Juve. And, you know, I don't want to get carried away because Napoli, 
can end up going to Firenze and slipping up just like Inter had slipped up the past few games. It, it can be as simple as that. But to look on the positive side, because that's all you want to do is be positive from now on. Because you want to go with you know your head straight and, and looking forward to the next match. If you go to the next match and you play like you did against Juventus, you can win this. You can win the game. You know, it would be amazing if Napoli can win out because that's that ensures us that we don't lose any ground. And you have to hope that Juve, obviously, you guys already know this, play Inter away at Milan, then they play Roma in Roma, I believe. They have to slip up against one of those guys. And uh, Napoli have to beat a tough match away in Firenze against Fiorentina. A tough match at home against Torino, who, you know, with Belotti and anything can happen. A tough match um, away at Sampdoria who earlier this season beat Juve. I know Samp is not the same Samp as before, but they've beaten Juve this year. They can beat us too. And uh, a really tough match, you know, oh, at home, I believe it is, against Crotone. But Crotone played Juve and tied. So Crotone can get a result, just like Ace Hasuolo can get a result against, against Napoli. So it's not easy, but on paper... Juve obviously has the tougher matchups, and they also have a Coppa Italia final in between uh, right before that Roma match that they have to take care of against Milan. So they do have a rougher schedule, and we'll see what happens. But, you know, guys, I'm I'm elated. I'm very happy. You can't see it in this video because it's the day after, but I, I'm getting the chills speaking right now. Uh, I can't tell you, you know, I was at work when they scored the goal, and I, I freaking flew out of my seat, and everyone was like, what the hell are you screaming about? Because I'm not supposed to be watching the game, but I had to watch the game. I, I had to do it. Um, luckily, I work in a sports environment anyway, but it was great to see that. And I, I can't tell you the amount of sh uh, tears I shed. And, you know, a lot of people will say, why isn't Napoli fans celebrating like they want to sweat, though? Why are they freaking letting off fireworks out? In, in in Napoli, why are they doing this? They didn't win the Scudetto. though. They're still one point behind. You're right. We're still behind. We didn't win the Scudetto yet. We didn't win a period because we don't know what's going to happen yet. Um, we're still trailing. We're still in second place. But I think it's been at least, what, seven or eight years or something like that that we haven't beaten U of A in Torino. That's one thing. Second, as much as, you know, it might be too much for some people, Napoli fans wear the heart on their sleeve. And it's just the way it, it's always been. So a lot of people will say Napoli fans turn on their players because, and you know, I, I'm guilty too. I don't turn on my players. I just get very pessimistic. After we tied to Sassuolo, I think it was, I said congratulations to you of it. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong, but that's how we, we are. We wear our hearts on our sleeves. We doubt a lot. Uh, not we doubt a lot, but it's just that once something goes wrong, we take it to heart so much. And, and then we're just scared that it's not going to come through for us. And we're so used to coming close the past couple years and not coming through. And, you know, like I said, we don't know what, what's going to happen at the end of the season either. But I've learned over the past couple of weeks to be, I guess, a little bit less pessimistic. You know, everyone on Twitter who's watching this video will already tell you how I am. Because I'll be the first one to say it's over. Goodbye, you know. But it's just because our emotions just come out. And I, it's a sport. But it enrages me when Napoli loses or when something doesn't go their way. I get so upset and so mad that you, you, you won't understand. If you were with me... When an Alpha game was going on, if we lost, you'd see it. My whole day's ruined. It's 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 just miserable, but it's just the way it, it is for us Napoli fans. So, you know, are those celebrations, all the fireworks, can they be exaggerated? Of course they can, and a lot of people will think that. But for the people of Napoli, especially those, I'm, I'm in America and I'm crying on my phone in my bed. I'm crying on the toilet in the bathroom and watching Napoli videos, and I'm crying. But that's how Napoli dons are. That's how we are. We we just. All of our emotions are let out, and the past few weeks have been filled with ups and ups and downs. And all of our emotions are just keep flowing and flowing, and anything could happen at this point. Now you just you, already you should be believing, because if you can come back against Kievo and that was huge as well, anything can happen. And and for the rest of the season, I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna say crap. You have to believe, and uh, just just keep the belief is all you can say. But that's all I just want to say because I know a lot of fans, especially Uva fans. Don't really like Napoli celebrating that much. And I understand from that perspective. We didn't win this with that, though. It's true. But um, it's just the way Napoli is made to be. That's how that city is. It, the the team means everything to that city. So when you come close and you've won in Torino, it's it's almost a feeling as if we've won the trophy, but we haven't. I, I know that. I'm realistic. And I, I know that 
If there's still four games left. That's a lifetime of games left. But um, it's just something that you would have to understand if you were there and you were from that city. My father is the exact same way. He felt elated when we won. And that's just how the city's feeling. And that's why thousands of fans welcome Napoli at the airport. That's just the way they are over there. You know, and, and even if they lost, I think Napoli stands would still have welcomed them and supported them. You know, there's times where they whistle the players and you've seen Insigne be affected by this, but that's just the way they are. They But in the end, they'll come out and support the team. It's just, it's, I think that's just it's a true thing, and I, I, that's just how I see it. But anyway, we'll see what happens next. I don't know if I'm going to be at work when these games go on, so I'm sorry if I don't make a review on the day of. I hope you'll still watch this video, um, and I hope that you will still continue to support the team if you're a Nobly fan, and we'll see what happens as we go along. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to the channel, like I said. It would really mean a lot to me. Thumbs up the video. I really do appreciate it. And Forza Napoli sempre. Bye, ragazzi. Ciao.